Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Break. So I'm not going to procrastinate at all. I'm just going to get right into it because the title is Big Announcements Galore and I, I just can't wait any longer. So let's let's get into it. Hey there, heroes. We have a ton of important announcements in this month's update. Let's start with the first most important update, publisher announcement. I figured that was going to be the case. When we initially announced our Kickstarter campaign, we were in talks with several publishers, knew that. It gives us great honor to announce that we will be working with the fine folks at 505 Games to release the game globally. Together with 505 Games, we will be working our hardest to, to deliver the game to you all at the highest possible level of quality. I'm not super familiar with 505 Games. I feel like I should be, but I'm just not in the moment. Here in Chronicles 100 Heroes, 505 Games. Nice. Message from Murayama to the backers regarding the partnership, partnership with 505 Games. We are happy to announce today that we, Rabbit and Bear Studios, have partnered with 505 Games as a publisher for the Uden Chronicle project. We will begin a relationship with them as equals, which will allow us to fully control the direction and atmosphere of the game as well as its rights. This was only made possible thanks to all the fans who cheered us on, supported us, and did so many things to make sure the Uden Chronicle Kickstarter project ended up as a huge success. Our pleasure, dude. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts again and truly feel like this is another victory for us all to celebrate together. Absolutely. Having a publisher? Awesome. Thanks to this success, we are confident that we will be able to deliver Uden Chronicle to you all at, the at an even higher level of quality than we originally planned. Thank you. Music to my friggin' ears. Yoshitaka Murayama, Rem Bear Studios. What is this? It was our pleasure. That your Kickstarter was a wild, awesome ride, dude. ラビットベアスタジオスタジオ村山義孝です。役営ユーデンではゲームデザイン、そしてペインスタリオを担当しています。今回皆さんに役営ユーデンをお伝えしたいと思います。お伝えしたいと思います。お伝えしたいと思います
これからも客や友人の情報を発信していこうと思っていますので各 SNS のフォローとよろしくお願いしますそれでは Awesome. I just love seeing this project move forward in any capacity. The Backer Shop. We've got, we've got some exciting news for all of you that have been waiting for it. We finally have a preview of the post campaign Backer Shop, and we're excited to finally share it with you. On the fulfillment website, first time pledgers will have the opportunity to pledge to the campaign. Original campaign backers, legacy, will be given access to an exclusive backer shop where they can buy add ons, upgrade pledges, and alter their registered information. Cool. In order to balance the financial fulfillment risks with incentivizing the backers who have supported us during our initial campaign, there will be a few limitations. Prices for new backers are roughly 15 to 25% higher than those for legacy backers. This is largely due to the fact that the backers that pledged during the campaign are the ones that made this game possible in the first place. If you are a legacy backer, you will be able to purchase add ons at their original campaign price. The figures in the monument tier were financially priced out as part of a bundle. Therefore, their individual prices are somewhat high when purchased as individual additional items. When they Oh, sorry, while they may seem pricey, they are an exclusive item to this campaign, and all funds go towards the continued development of the game. Unfortunately, due to the complicated nature of how job rewards were bundled, we are unable to deliver them via the fulfillment website. While having a publisher does allow us the opportunity to make the best game we can, sales from the backer shop go directly to the development of the game. And help lower the number of units we would need to sell in order to break even. And of course, if Uden Chronicle is a financial success, that would increase the likelihood of future sequels, which is something we all want. Absolutely. That, that's, you know, part of the excitement for this game is just the prospect of a greatly expanded world in subsequent games. You know, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but I can't help but go there. Character profile. What the hell? Okay, so is this is this our elevator operator? All right, he's got like some mechanism and he's fighting with what the heck is he doing? All right, Dr. Cork. Corky? Cork? That's what I'm saying. Profession the University of Carl's. Carlos. Gender male, age 57. Favorite food, Bo Bonkuchin? Oh my gosh, can't even say that. Bonkuchin. This spin doctor. Yeah, is he playing with tops here? What is he doing? This spin doctor, as he likes to call himself, has a deep love for Begoma. Ah, a game of wind up tops. As he likes to tell Noah and the others, the strongest bonds begin with these chords. A student of physics, he became enamored with the elusive, unpredictable movement of a spinning top. Was it possible the will of the spinner was acting on the, acting on the top somehow and thus began Dr. Quark's search? For a player that could prove his hypothesis, Begoma is a microcosm of the world, a map of what life should be. I'm looking for a warrior who's worth devoting my life to. Dr. Cork is a pure hearted character. I adjusted the sparkle in his eyes many times to make his sincerity stand out. In brackets, currently, he's one of the most bright eyed characters in the game. Yeah, this guy is definitely gonna be a bit of an eccentric for sure. Monster sneak peek. Yo, I'm loving the monster art for these games, seriously. And I mean, of course, we have to have a crab enemy type of some kind, right? So, you know, looking pretty good. Looking very, very sinister, you know, with the oversized claw, too. Name Savage Crab. Description Clad in a sturdy shell and armed with a massive pincer, this waterside monster may seem like more trouble than it's worth, but the creature's meat is so savagely delicious that plenty of fishers try their luck anyway. Damn. In game sneak peek. Oh! Finally. So we got. Oh, so what's new here? So Gar, because we've only seen his back in battle. So this is actually what his, you know, his sprite kind of looks like. We get Mio here as well. Oh, Lian. Yeah, we got this guy again here too. So all characters we've seen, but seen, but just. I, I don't know why, but just, you know, seeing them, you know, in, with different sprite animations or sprite stances. I just love it. You know, everyone's looking pretty good, I gotta say. No, Mio's looking pretty good. Gar's looking a little bit different than I thought he would. Like, I guess, I guess for whatever reason, I thought maybe he had like a longer snout. But honestly, everyone's looking pretty damn good. 
Well, let me, yep, let's go. Yeah, Leanne, I do really like. Yeah, because her color palette was different in the, you know, the original reveal, but I like it much better now. Mildredge, those two are taking too long. Oh, man, everyone's looking pretty damn good, guys. Pretty goddamn good. Mm, awesome. Just. Prototype version of an event scene may differ from the final graphics and specifications. Noah, sa Noah Sign and the others decide to go defeat the rampaging monsters nearby based on a rumor that Leanne heard. Cool. Mariama's monthly development report. Although still in the early stages, a prototype version of the game was created at the end of January. Despite the fact that the graphics, game, da game data, and events are only samples, it's still possible to walk around the city, see events, and fight monsters. Of course, we still have a lot of work to do to brush up the game, but I think we can show you a small part of it in this update. Oh God, I'm trying to get my expectations in check, guys. The journey of our main character Noah and his friends is yet to begin, but I hope you can look forward to what kinds of friends will be waiting for them. Absolutely. The biggest attraction of Uden Chronicle, I must say, is its many unique characters. Yeah, preaching to the choir there, bro. Some of the characters will strive in battle, while others take part in the fortress city where they are based. Many of them still exist only in the Excel file where the settings are compiled. Some of the characters have been brought to life with many settings and designs by Miss Kawana, while others have only one line, a young man who is a rune lens hunter. Wow, so we got some characters to develop still. The story is nothing but the life of the characters, and each character should have his or her own life, and by creating them, a new world will be created. I would like to place as many characters of various races, types, and circumstances as possible in Union Chronicle. Variety. Love it. Of course, for the sake of game balance, it is necessary to have character types such as a wizard who is good at using fire element magic, and it is also necessary to keep the overall balance so the characters do not all become similar. For sure. Since we're going to great lengths, I want to be I want it to be possible where you can have a party of non-human characters only. Sweet. Or a party of just girls. Awesome. A party of five sharks? Dot dot dot. Now that's a bit too much, isn't it? it, it see, is that an actual question or is that like a rhetorical question? It is what I'm wondering. I almost feel like that's a bit of a rhetorical question. But we'll see. That's the sort of things I imagine as I fill out the list every day. A word from the team. Hello everyone, I'm Junko Kawano, the character illustrator. It's my turn to talk to you this time. Here's a story I heard the other day. A clinic that I often go to was celebrating their anniversary and all the staff gave a drawing of the lead doctor as a present. Since then, thanks to the smiling portrait of the head doctor that is always placed by his side, he has become a calmer person than before. It's amazing what a painting can do, isn't it? Speaking of which, I once drew portraits as a part-time job when I was a student. It was a kind of event where I gave away free portraits to customers who came to the event. But when I handed the drawings to customers, they were so happy saying that I even drew their personality correctly. Ooh, as an artist, that must have just warmed your heart. It made me happy to hear that they were pleased with my work and it reminded me once again of how I have managed to keep going until today by accumulating such experiences. So now I'm thinking about each character's face and overall appearance of Uden Chronicle from scratch, such as what kind of character would they be? What kind of face would they have when they're in this state of mind? And so on. And then I get a comment from Mr. Mariyama and I go like, oh, I guess I was wrong about that one. Then I go back to the drawing board again because I want to make sure that the soul of the character comes out properly. Ooh, I just, I just love hearing about artists at work. It's awesome, especially when it's something you love so damn much. It will be a little while before they become a part of the game and reach you all, but I hope you'll be patient. Okay, that's it from me for now. See you soon. Ooh, some more character art. Nice, our main pro tag here. And that is it for the update, guys. I thought there was going to be, you know, in-game kind of sneak peek video, but it turns out it's just these screenshots instead. You know, but, you know, I'm I, oh, as much as I wanted, you know, in-game running footage. No, I am still happy we at least get this. Because honest to God, everyone's looking pretty damn good. And Dr. Uh, Dr. Cork or whatever here. Like, he's not he's not my, you know, oh, my personal, you know, favorite type of character. But, you know, hopefully he you know, has some fans out there and people like him. And, you know, maybe he'll be really good in game. We'll just have to wait and see. But I uh, know, love that we have at least another character reveal this week. 
So no, that is it for the update, guys. No, thanks for joining me. No, at least we got a publisher now. You know, we got some, you know, some in-game footage. And and things seem to be moving along, you know, which is, you know, all I could ask for. But anyway, thanks for joining me for this game, right, guys? I'll talk to you later.